What's up YouTube? Bandit here. So I'm heading back to Harley. Uh, I've still got the 5 inch Clockworks demo shield on so I'm heading there now to get them to hopefully switch it to the uh, six and a half inch and we'll do a review on that one uh, now that I've tried out the five inch so hopefully I make it there in time I know they close at six and it's currently almost 530 so I'm hoping I make it there with enough time that they're willing to do it but anyways yeah we're gonna go ahead and try out the six and a half inch see one if of my uh, line of sight if I can clear the top of the shield and two to see if it does any better with the buffeting than what the five does like i said the five already made a difference um, but i'm wanting to go as tall as i can and still be able to see over the windshield so that way hopefully not only does it help with me but it'll help with the old lady on the back to reduce her buffeting as well with her sitting higher than me i don't think this five is quite gonna cut it for her because if I put my hand up to the wind line, it's right above my helmet right now. So that makes it to where it would essentially still be hitting her since she sits higher on the back. But we're going to give it a try. Hopefully I can still see over it. And then hopefully it still looks pretty good on the bike. Because uh, the other thing I don't want is I don't want, you know, the super tall windshield. Just I like the more sleek look. So we'll try out the six and a half, see how it looks on here, see if I can see over it. And we'll go from there ah, another red light come on lights have not been in my favor trying to get to harley i've gotten caught at like every single light on the route here yeah i'm about to pull into harley now so i will see you guys on the back side of it hopefully with the six and a half installed be back with you in a minute what's up everybody back with you so now I have the six and a half clockworks on here. So we'll do a little review of this on the way home. So six and a half at five foot seven, I am still able to easily see over the windshield. Even in my, so sitting up straight, I mean, the GoPro's not quite at my line of sight, so you guys can't really tell, but I mean, I'm a good three, I don't know, four inches above it, maybe. And then, in my normal riding position which is kind of slouched over because i have horrible posture and i'll just say that right away it is breaking right below my line of sight so i'd say my line of sight is probably about an inch inch and a half above it and so again that's at five foot seven so for any of you shorter riders out there i know i had one guy in the comments uh said he was also about five foot seven uh so as long as your sitting height is about the same as mine which should be relatively close being the same height uh, you should be able to get away with the six and a half inch and i do think the six and a half inch still looks pretty good from the front so i'll do a walk around of it when we get back to the house and let you see what it looks like but once we get up on the interstate and i get to about 70 miles an hour i'll uh, let you know how it is when it comes to buffeting so today is a windier day out. I don't know if you can tell with all the flags at the dealership there, they're moving pretty good. Um, so it is pretty gusty wind today. So it's not the best day to review because gusty conditions make a difference um, just in general. But I'll do a quick review on it on the ride home and then I'm gonna ride it over the next few days and I'll give you a more thorough review after that. I also talked to them about my thousand mile service um i figured so in the future i'm going to do most of my own maintenance on it when it comes to oil changes and everything but i figure with this first initial one for the thousand mile because they do a lot more than just change the oil they check all the the bolts and stuff make sure that's torqued to where it's supposed to be stuff like that um just after the first thousand miles after assembly to make sure everything's still torqued properly uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let them do all that and then from then on I'll probably 
do most of my own uh, oil changes and everything myself. Alright, so 70 miles an hour. I mean, yeah, this is actually quite phenomenal. Um, cruising at 70, there's a very, very minor, I mean, almost imperceptible amount of buffeting with my helmet now. And again, that's from it coming up beside the tank. That's not from the windshield. So the windshield airline is, I don't know, a good four inches above my helmet. And I mean, it is it is stabled out my helmet a lot. And I mean, and that's going to say that this helmet already with the stock windscreen, I got a lot less buffeting with this Simpson Mod Bandit than I have with any other helmet I've owned. But now it's almost an imperceptible amount like this really just made the, a huge difference in quality of ride at 70 miles an hour and like I said it is gusty so I am getting some wind from the side that's kind of gusting blowing the bike a little bit and it's hitting you know my body and the side of my helmet kind of turning my head a little bit uh, so I'm taking that out of the factor I'm purely talking about kind of the up and down buffeting that you get and there's next to I mean like I said it's it's pretty much imperceptible at this point so I think the six and a half is is the right shield for me. Unfortunately, a very short stint on the highway there. Um, but I will have a, a section going across some bridges that I'll be back at about 60 on my way home. So we can do a little bit more on that. And then, like I said, I'm gonna hold on to this one. So I had the last one. It's, it is currently Friday the 6th. And I picked that one up on last friday so a week ago held on to that one for a week uh rode out to panama city with it rode back or panama city beach that is for thunder beach motorcycle rally rode back and it was nice made a difference and then i'm gonna hold on to this one for about a week and see what this one does on how well i like it and i'll give you guys a more in-depth review by the end of the week on my thoughts and impressions on it but this is a relatively short video again i just wanted to let you guys know that i was going up in size on the clockworks to see what it did for me so right now i'm at about 50 miles an hour and yeah there's zero buffeting at all at 50. again i'm fighting the gusty wind but i'm not taking that into consideration for the helmet all right so gusty coming across the bridge here but I mean, still, there's almost nothing when it comes to buffeting. Like I said, it's an imperceptible amount, and a lot of that might just be the gusty wind. And that's a 60. So yeah, so this six and a half is definitely the one that I'm gonna go with. Like I said, my slouch position is just below my line of sight, which is my horrible posture. Um, taller bars will help me to be able to straighten out a little bit, but with the stock bars, I'm slouched over a little bit to to actually like ride normally which isn't the greatest position on longer rides with having back issues but everything takes money and time so eventually i'll have taller bars on here eventually i'm gonna get an exhaust system on here but yeah i think this windshield is gonna be my next purchase the six and a half is is really nice from my height yeah like i said I'll, I'll i'm gonna hang on to this shield for about a week again like i did the last time and i'll give you guys a more in-depth review on it uh it'll i'll probably just ride around a bunch uh may or may not record the videos while i'm just riding around testing it out for the week ride to and from work and all that but uh next weekend i'll bring the bike back down and I'll drop it back off to, or get them to swap out to my stock one. And on that ride, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions on it after having it for a week. Uh, so I did talk to them about like going over a thousand miles and making sure that there would be no issues with that. And they said, no, as long as you're not, you know, going to the like 2000 or 3000 mark. I said, as long as it's under about 1500 miles, it'll be fine. So it gives me some wiggle room. So I don't have to like stop riding to get the bike to Harley for servicing but anyways um, if you guys like the content that I'm putting out hit that like button for me 
it'll really help me out it'll help to get this video out to more people uh, with the YouTube algorithm and how it suggests videos and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button that'll definitely help me out a lot and that'll really help to get this my content out to to more people that are interested in this sort of things and again I'll keep my Instagram linked in all my videos now so if you have an Instagram go ahead and go check that out um, it'll just be pictures I posted some pictures on there from Panama City I'll be continuously posting or continue to post pictures on there of mods to the bike and like teasers of upcoming mods to the bike but as always stay safe out there keep the rubber side down and I'll see you on the road band it out sorry one more thing before I go I almost forgot I said I'd do a view from the front of the clockworks uh, six and a half inch on the street glide so that's what it looks like so it still looks pretty good still pretty slim line which I like kind of give you guys a side profile view so I think this is the one that I'm gonna end up going with to get the wind up over both of us what's up YouTube bandit back with you so I'm just gonna originally I was gonna do a whole nother video about the six and a half after I picked it up in a week-long review but I just decided that I'm gonna tie this all into one video um, so I've had the screen or the clockwork six and a half for about a week now actually right at a week now and I'm headed back to Harley uh, with it so I've ridden to work a couple days with it um, this will be my actually like first time after picking it up that I'll have any kind of extended on the highway so because I'm leaving from work I actually have more time on the highway than when I picked it up and I was going home from Harley so right now at uh, 75 miles an hour I'm coming across a bridge so I'm actually getting some buffeting in the helmet and, and wind pushing me left and right but that's because of the bridge and I don't know if you can really tell but these clouds so kind of dark and stormy out so it is definitely a gusty windy day which is playing a role in it but before I got to the bridge it was very minimal buffeting which truthfully like I said was, was caused by how gusty it is out today um, overall this six and a half inch I am very very pleased with on its ability to get the wind up over me and not being beat up so much in the helmet with it so this is definitely the, the windshield that I'm going to end up going with is this six and a half by clockworks so it's a great windshield um, as I stated previously I'm five foot seven uh, so I can see just over top of it in my normal slouch position uh, because of my horrible posture so I can see like my eye level is probably inch inch and a half above the windscreen sitting up straight I'm a good five five inches above it six inches above it um, but yeah my normal riding position I'm probably about an inch and a half maybe two above it so I think the the eight and a half which is the next size up would be too tall for me for my normal riding position uh, but the six and a half is pretty perfect so this is a windscreen or a windshield that I'm gonna end up going with to put onto this bike so right now as I said I'm taking the bike into Harley I'm gonna get my stock windshield put back on and I'm also going to get the uh, uh, 1,000 mile service done so as I previously stated the, the service with the 1,000 mile as far as I know they do more than just change your oil to get that braking oil out they retorque all your like major bolts on the on the bike after the first thousand miles to make sure everything's still torque the spec or tighten everything back down after assembly so that's the reason why I'm gonna have them do this service after that I'll take care of doing the oil change myself but I figure since they're gonna re you know check all the bolts and everything uh, I'll have them do it instead of me trying to figure out what all gets checked and do it myself pay them to do it call it good but yeah uh, so right now I'm just heading down there like I said it is kind of dark and stormy out it's been on and off of rain all day while I was at work and now I'm heading to Harley so luckily the rain has stopped but it's still pretty gusty wind conditions out which is kind of blowing the bike left and right but yeah now that I'm off that bridge I mean my buffeting is is near nothing at 75 miles an hour 
and what is still left is what is coming up beside the tank here so if i put my hands down by my legs or in front of my knees right there everything stops so that tells me that what's left of my helmet buffeting is coming from beside the tank so at this point it's not bad enough for me to want to get the fork fangs uh, to mount to the forks to get that to stop that may change in the future if like long distance rides it gets annoying or anything but i mean i did the two hours to panama city and back so four hours total riding that day and and that was with uh, five and a half clockworks and it wasn't annoying at all so uh, i'm currently good with it but as i said that may change in the future and i'll figure out a way to combat the the wind by the tank whether that be fork fangs whether that be lower leg fairings uh, both of those will help out with that great windshield uh, highly recommend it to anybody interested in clockworks it does a really good job i think it looks good on the bike um, and this six and a half inch works well at five seven in case anybody was interested in that for height wise on whether or not it would work for them so if you're at five seven it'll work uh any shorter if you are slouched over when you ride like i am it may not work but at five seven it does but yeah if you guys got any questions or anything for me uh go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below and i'll do my best to answer them and if you like the content that i'm putting out hit that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already and thank you to all those who have subscribed uh, i really do appreciate it it helps me out a lot as always stay safe out there keep the rubber side down and i'll see you on the road banded out